Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video I will show you how to install iOS 7.1 on your iPhone 2G, 3G and your iPod Touch 1st gen, 2nd gen. So for the 2nd generation I don't know if it works for all the MC models. Um, but it worked on the MB model. So I'm gonna pick up an MC model soon. So if you follow my social networks, I'm gonna say if it works. So the iPhone 3G I used my two last videos gonna suffer again today as you can see I've updated it back to iOS 4.2.1 just reduce the brightness a little bit you can see it better So as you can see I'm back on iOS 4.2.1 and Today I will show you how to install iOS 7.1 so what you need is basically a computer or a Mac as you can see here I'm on my Mac So what you need to do is go to Safari and uh, Here I'm on the white door side. So if you just jump look on the features It's an all new iOS 7 look and feel you have push notifications just like iOS 7 You have three app stores the app time machine Pretty awesome you have the App Store you have Studio and you have another one that allow you to download cracked apps but I don't recommend you guys to do this so now you can record video of course on your iPhone 3G because if I open up the camera app as you can see there is no possibility to video record down the bottom so you can only take pictures Okay, it's very buggy in the moment, as you can see. Um, you can, if you don't like it, you can download iCamcorders so you can record video. It's a pretty awesome app. So, what you have to do is, if you want to install this, you're gonna go to whitedoor.com. I'm gonna put link in the description. And then you're gonna click on installation. So, then it brings you to a page where you can choose your device iphone 2g 3g ipod touch first gen or second gen so i'm using an iphone 3g as i said before so i'm gonna choose iphone 3g and then if you click on select you have two options windows or mac os so i'm using my macbook so i click on mac os and you need red snow to do this because you have to go in pawn dfu mode so what you're gonna do is first Download the IPSW. Gonna bring you to another website. Um, so now you can choose between the normal or the unlocker one. So, what's the difference? Basically, the difference is the normal one is if your iPhone is unlocked, like mine. So, an unlock is for people who don't know, is when you can put in every SIM card you want. So, for example, if you buy your iPhone AT&T, your phone's probably SIM locked for AT&T. So, if you want to put a Sprint SIM card into it or Verizon, it won't work. So, you have to do an unlock. So, mine is unlocked, so I'm going to choose the normal one. And then you click on Source, Forge, Download. Hope it starts. So, during this, I'm going to go back to Google and search for red snow sorry my internet's very slow in the moment so then you're gonna click on iPhone hacks it's the same link as I used in my previous video and then you're gonna choose the beta 7 for Mac or Windows it depends on which one you're using so sorry for the ad um, okay I'm gonna get this one okay because sometimes it brings you to a site of Google but I don't trust them so I prefer to download if it downloads directly to their so I guess the IPSW won't charge, I don't know. Okay, try this again. 
so we're gonna click download again choose iPhone 3G or and the normal or unlock one again and search for it to download so it's hope it will work this time if not I gotta switch to my Windows computer okay so so for I now it's downloading so you can trust it I've done it several times to try it out I'm gonna click take about 10 minutes I guess see you later so guys I'm back um, I forgot to download the IPSW for iOS 4.2.1 because you're gonna need it so we're going to ipsw.me choose iPhone scroll all the way down to iPhone 3G select iOS 4.2.1 and download the IPSW because if you open up Red Snow you're gonna need this to answer the pond a few months so I'm just gonna wait until it's finished so it says three minutes okay Doing this, we're gonna open up Red Snow. Go to my Finder um, download section for Red Snow. Now, what you're gonna do is click Control and open and click to open up Red Snow. So and now you can see Red Snow is open opened up because if you don't click on control and open your computer gonna say okay this worked for me so if you open up the first time you had to open up with control because your computer gonna say it's from an untrusted developer so you cannot open it my PSW should be finished soon so guys I'm back and uh, I've downloaded the IPSW for iOS 4.2.1. I guess it takes about five minutes or so. So what you're gonna do now is if you open up Red Snow, you're gonna click on Browse. Okay, and then you're gonna go to Download and uh, choose iPhone 1, 1.2, 4.2.1 IPSW. I'm gonna open up. So now you're gonna plug in your iPhone into your computer. And you can see I'm doing it right now. If you wanna get in. Okay, I'm plugged in. So now click next. So unlock the device, I guess. So what you're gonna do now is uncheck this and this and just enter upon the FU mode just like for the iOS 2.0 and now click next. So now follow the on-screen instructions and do the same like me. So turn off the device, wait it's turned off. Click next and now be ready. Hold the power button for 3 seconds, the home button and the power button for 10 seconds together. And now keep holding the home button for 15 seconds without releasing the home uh, without releasing the home button, yes, for 15 seconds. So Okay, now my device is in Pond the Human. So what you're gonna do now is go into iTunes and hope your device is okay. So iTunes says it has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. So just open a bigger window. So what you're gonna do now is click on Alt and restore iPhone. So it's gonna bring you here. 
and then go to your download section and choose your white door 7.1 iPhone 3G normal or unlocker IPSW and click open and now it should restore the iPhone so as you can see a black screen a white screen the app logo and now it's just looking like an iOS 7 app logo don't know if you can see that it's a little spinning wheel and now it's the classic logo and I would say See you when it's finished. So guys, I'm back again and as you can see the iPhone has an iOS 7 boot logo, app logo, as you can see here. Okay, focus. It's an iOS 7 looking app logo and we're just gonna wait until it boots. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna need is wait that iTunes recognizes it. Because as you can see, um, there's kind of activation lock, so my SIM card has a pin, so unlock it. Okay, it's a bit buggy right here. So now iTunes should detect the phone. Um, of course, it isn't a real iOS 7, it's just a custom IPSW, and uh, iTunes is recognizing the phone so we're gonna quickly set this up as a whole new phone so just waiting for okay click next and configure this new iPhone okay now we are done so now it's waiting for the activation sync in progress um, so as you can see, cancel because I don't need this activation process, so we don't need the computer no more. So as you can see here, you're gonna have an iOS 7 look and feel. Just focus a little bit. So I'm gonna unplug the device because we don't need it no more. So what we're gonna do right now is connect quickly to Wi-Fi and I'm gonna see you back then. So guys, I'm back connected to Wi-Fi. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my iPhone 4 next to me to compare it to the original iOS 7, but I'm gonna do a comparison video between those soon. Um, as you can see we got, it really looks like iOS 7, as you can see we got Syria Terminal and YouTube pre-installed, that's pretty cool. Um, if we quickly jump into settings and go to general and about, we're gonna see that we are running iOS 3.1.3, so it's basically kind of downgrade to install this custom IPSW. Um, spotlight search is still here. So we got this modification center normally. And okay, I guess it isn't completely. Gonna jump quickly in the white door settings. So click on features gonna folders Siri don't need assistive touch so gonna unlock the advanced settings okay I don't recommend you to do this guys and uh, okay my settings just crashed so jump back in white door settings and wait until it's initialized So we're gonna click on visual, round switches, unlock animation, um, just back to see what else is there in settings. So click on features, background or
so it's run pretty smooth. I don't know why there isn't any access to control center and stuff. So if we go to Safari, okay, no, done. As you can see, if you go here in camera, um, you can now record videos. What the hell? Okay. So, you can record videos, pretty cool. Um, if we jump in the phone app. So I guess I can't show you as much because I had to compare this to a real IO7. So I guess I'm gonna do a comparison video soon where I compare the iPhone 3G on iOS, on the custom IPSW of iOS 7.1 against the iPhone 4S on iOS 7.0.2. Or the iPhone 4 on iOS 7.1.2 so please it's your turn to choose which one I gonna use you can leave it down in the comments um, I guess this would be better against the iPhone 4 because it's slow a bit on its final version but I don't know it's your choice so leave it down in the comments if you liked Please share, subscribe to my channel and maybe you're gonna see this video tomorrow and peace out.